Christianity basically began as a religion separate from Judaism by redefining the concept of the Messiah. And one of the places we see this most strikingly is in the Christian scriptures in the book of Romans, where Paul uh, asserts in chapter 11, verse 26, that all of Israel is going to be saved and he quotes from the Jewish scriptures, he quotes from the book of Isaiah, that the deliverer will come out of Zion and he will turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Paul here is basically trying to establish the concept of the Messiah and linking it to the Jewish Bible. And he says that the Redeemer comes in order to remove ungodliness from Jacob, that the whole purpose of the Messiah coming is to deal with the human sin condition, is to change the human being from a sinner into a saint, and that is the job of the Messiah, that he will remove ungodliness from Jacob. The problem is that in appealing to the book of Isaiah, Paul really is not quoting from Isaiah correctly. Isaiah actually says in the 59th chapter, verse 20, the Redeemer will come to Zion and to those who turn from transgression in Jacob, says the Lord. What Isaiah actually says is not that the Messiah comes to remove sin from the Jewish people. On the contrary, Isaiah says that the Messiah will come to those Jewish people who have already on their own turned away from sin. We see, for example, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30, that the redemption of the Jewish people, the Messianic age, only comes after national repentance, after the Jewish people as a people have turned away from sin and have turned back to God, then the Messianic age comes. And so the Jewish scriptures speak about the idea that human beings have the ability to turn away from their sin and to turn back to God. However, Paul does not accept this. Paul states in the book of Galatians, among other places, that we are not able to live righteously according to the Torah. And because Paul asserts that it's impossible for human beings to really turn away from their sin, therefore for him, necessity is the mother of invention. And since human beings cannot turn from their sin on their own ability, Paul's model, this new definition of the Messiah, is that the Messiah comes into this world in order to remove sin from us. The problem is that he tries to attribute this concept to the prophet Isaiah. And he's only able to do that by mangling the words of Isaiah and distorting what Isaiah actually says. This messianic concept that Paul uh, tries to put forward is simply not based upon the Jewish scriptures.